Um, before we go ahead, I'm going to ask if there is any announcement. I think we're aware that Gideon is going to be on the hot seat today, so let's prepare questions. Any announcements from the team? All right, for the career side of things, there is Doria stated by 10.15 today. We would appreciate if everyone joined the tutorial because that way you'll be able to carry out the live exercise that is immediately after the 30 minutes tutorial. So please go and familiarize yourself with the um, exercise doc so you're not confused by the time you want to carry out this exercise. Yeah, I think that's it from my end. If you have questions about this particular exercise, so you can ask it. I mean, like doing the stand up. So let's get started. What's happening, guys? Progress, blockers, updates in general. Who's going first? All right, I did just go for it. Hello, good morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning, my fellow friends. Um, <laughs> yeah, everything has been has been going smoothly, and I got to say, this week's um, this week's change is quite is quite quite interesting. And I've learned a lot. I've read a lot on the topic, and the resources you guys shared can be very very uh, helping. Because I've seen quite one, and yes, I, I agree with someone that the uh, one of the references. I, I I have to read all the guys, all the guys books on this stuff. So it has been interesting, and I've been writing some things. So so far, so good on my hand. That is true. All right, thanks for sharing all the jets. It's nice to know. Yeah, so Mohamed, over to you. So, uh, good morning, you all. Uh, yesterday, um, after the stand up, uh, we could say in the working, uh, independent work uh, session, I started and proposed. Uh, an invitation for a study group and uh, yes uh, five members we are five members now going the group and uh, we can discuss about how we could manage to do the work and how we could split the materials with each other we are we, we are planning to have our first meet after stand up and uh, since yesterday, I started uh, to read one of the articles. Uh, it's about word to vector, and uh, I got some insights and uh, benefit uh, information. So that was a bit from my side. All right, that's cool. All the best in your meeting after today's stand up. Thanks for sharing once again. We say, ah, uh, go for it. Yeah, uh, hi, everybody. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. Hi. Okay, hi. Uh, uh, it's a kind of an interesting project. Uh, I didn't know uh, much about this large language model, so I started by understanding what a large language model is, what uh, what it actually is, uh, how it can uh, continue a text based on a given input, uh, how the data in pattern that it, it already observed can be used to generate lots and lots of uh, different uh, things. It can be uh, applied to many, many applications. Uh, how prompts and uh, how prompts make uh, this variety of outputs uh, available. Uh, how it can change things, uh, strings into tokens, 
and I really um kind of scared about how how this thing can be used. It can it can basically be used to do harmful things, I think. And I saw lots of examples like Bloom, OpenAI, GPT, uh, Lambda, and Coheres. So uh, and also I touched basics uh, on transformers and attention which basically means transformers are models which are sequence to sequence deep learning models that can produce a sequence of text given an input sequence uh, and i also touched on uh, prompts and in context learning so that's basically uh what i have been doing last uh, yesterday and i hope uh, this will be used this stand-up will be used to briefly share what we all learned in order for us to uh, grasp this very uh, dynamic and huge uh, uh, thing that we are supposed to do this week. So thank you very much. That's all. Very interesting update, I must say. I think it's nice to also say that you're worried about the negative impact of these um, tech applications. But at the same time, I think what you should just focus on is the positive side, if you get what I mean. So, but interesting update so far. So thanks for sharing. Um, I, I don't see any hands up, so I would appreciate to be share our updates. We already, by now, I think we already know why this stand up is created or was created. So it would only make more sense if we actually utilize the opportunity and share what we're doing. All right, I'm the walk. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, in the last um, few days, uh, I have been preparing myself to know about the new and interesting things that we have given this week as a challenge. And I was reading about the Little shot um, learning and few shot learning. Uh, I was checking the OpenAI tools or products, such as GPT 2 and 3, how they work. And I was trying to generate uh, a random image by giving a text to those tools, uh, like imagine and journey uh, images, uh, and a lot of uh, things. And about transformer and deep learning models, uh, everything is already stated by my friend previously. So uh, that was awesome, and that makes me uh, more encouraged to to know more about it. That's all about. It. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks for sharing. So before I move to Alexander, I'm curious to know. Do we really understand the career exercise? That is career exercise one for week four, because I can say that there are no really questions about that. No one is curious to know why it's a live exercise or why, why are you going to submit? I'm, I'm directing the question to everyone now. So no one is curious about our doing a live exercise or why the exercise is going to be done immediately after the story. I'm not seeing questions about that and I'm kind of worried. Do we, is it that we truly understand that or we're not just ready to ask questions? So this is an, a good opportunity for us to ask and then I get to answer. So while we're still thinking of that, while we're still preparing our questions, I'm going to move to Alexander. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, to answer your question, uh, the career exercise, uh, I, th I think I found it quite clear. If I'm not wrong, like we're required to uh, answer an email uh, for our CEO, right? So we'll, I'm hoping we'll get uh, enough uh, briefing in our tutorial so that we can uh, know how to respond the email professionally. So I think the task will be like, as soon as the uh, career exercise the tutorial ended, we're going to like uh, respond to those emails if i'm not wrong that's that's 100 correct right so okay. i think you play on that so share your updates now 
Uh, okay, uh, do I have to like uh, respond with like what I understand about the exercise? Not a question. No, you just went through what you understood about the exercise and I'm agreeing with you that that's correct. Do you have something else you want to ask? Uh, no, no, I have nothing to ask. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm going to share that. Okay, uh, uh, okay, what I've done so far is uh, I've been uh, going through some of the uh, materials, I mean, uh, resources provided uh, for us to read. And uh, I've also uh, uh, playing around with a mid journey image generator API, I mean, uh, AI on their Discord. And it, it's uh, it's very fascinating the thing to like give it uh, an AI to uh, a prompt to generate an image and uh, get those results amazing in fact very, very amazing and some some of them are like if we uh, prompt it to like give us a very photorealistic artistic uh, image. Uh, it will just uh, do just that, and it's so amazing and fascinating, fascinating thing to see. Uh, as well, uh, uh, I think Fisa has mentioned that he's uh, like fear on how these things could potentially be used in a very bad thing, especially uh, when we like talk about these very large language models. They've been trained on the data that is. Uh, found on the internet and all those data, um, majority of these data, I could say, is like found from uh, Western and other Asian or uh, more like uh, the developed countries, I could say. Uh, so uh, there is a very uh, few representation of uh, Africa. I could, I could see that. So this. Uh, of, of course caused uh, quite a, a lot of problems in controversies uh, revolving the ethics of like this uh, very large uh, language model so uh, maybe like getting our hands dirty on those uh, platforms and like training models um, providing uh, our perspective of uh, things is very important for us for Africans to like be you know uh not a victim of these biases so uh at the same time like this uh is very very big topic and i'm very interested uh to learn more about it and of course uh, if possible i'm also interested to come up with an idea to uh like using those uh, large language models to uh i mean do all sorts of like cool stuff so i'm looking forward to this this week's challenge and we, we've also like formed a group like i'm with Mohammed, and uh, I, right after this uh, stand up we're gonna meet and i'm looking forward to it too interesting i think you actually have like a great approach to um this side of things so I mean, like you said, you're also thinking of an idea to be able to um, counter those negative implications. So I think you probably have something great to include in your report of some sort. So I think well done. Yeah. And then all the best with your meeting later today. So I think um, Fise has a question about the current exercise. So let's hear it. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what uh, I was planning to ask. Uh, I think we are going to be given a list of emails that were mm -hmm. forwarded to our CEO. And since our CEO is not emails, we are given, I think, right, um, to all the emails accordingly. And basically, I think that's mm -hmm. right. But uh, I I really, um, I have, uh, what do you call I just thought uh, this was not maybe for me. I don't know for anybody. Maybe for me. Uh, I think this was. Uh, I, I assumed everything was going to continue as last previous weeks. So 
I didn't actually knew that this careers exercise was uh, supposed to be handed in today. Uh, thanks to the Slack groups, I figured that out. And when I see the uh, actual doc documentation, I saw the uh, turn in time. So maybe that's one thing I was uh, having a problem with. But I think the question I asked is exactly what we are supposed to do, right? Yes, you're correct. So essentially, what you're supposed to do is um, represent or let's say be in place of your CEO and just respond to our emails. So that's why if you look at the title of this um, exercise, it says time management and prioritization. So basically, you're given this number of time or this period of time, an hour to respond to a couple of emails. So how are you going to prioritize these emails? Which do you think should be responded to immediately? Which do you think you're supposed to ignore? Or which do you think you're supposed to flag for later? So another point I'd love to touch on is, because you said you were not sure of the deadline. So here's the thing. Every week when your folder has been shared with you, what you're supposed to do is to go through every challenge, every exercise, and then see the deadlines for each of these challenges or exercise. You're not supposed to just assume that the deadline will be the same as it has been previously. So for the careers exercise, fine, we've had a trend where deadlines are on Fridays. So what I would actually encourage is that you go through these exercises every week to be sure of the deadline and do not just assume that, oh, it's going to be like Friday as it was last week or last upper week, if that makes sense. So that way you're not caught off guard. So that is what you're supposed to do. And that is why this folder or this document generally are shared, let's say on Sunday or latest Monday morning. So you are, you're supposed to familiarize yourself with this um, document and you're supposed to prepare questions if you're not clear. So you don't just have the tutorials to ask questions, you have the stand up to ask questions. You also have the Slack group to Slack channel to ask questions. So you don't have to wait until you get to tutorial before you start asking questions. And when you familiarize yourself with these um, exercises, it really shows that you're interested in them and then you're really ready to learn. So yeah, I'm um, Adijat. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, I just want to add something. Uh, oh, sure. Quick, sorry. Uh, okay. uh, that is exactly what we are supposed to do. Thanks for the uh, recommendation. And one thing I just wanted to ask is how are we supposed to send out the emails? Are we going to send the emails using our own email address? And how are the emails going to be? How are we going to receive the emails that we are going to respond to? That's I mean, a good the, question. How, how, how is that? that was what I was kind of expecting people to ask. So attend the tutorial. When you attend the tutorial, the next step it's it's like a maze or like a game so until you do step one before you can know what's happening in step two so attend the tutorial when you get the tutorial the next instruction will be shared or passed then you know what next to do but that's a good question it really shows that you're trying to see what to do but it's nothing complicated so just come to the tutorial then the next step will be shared i don't want to i'm kind of trying to okay, put this surprise thing <laughs> Yeah. Since mm -hmm. it's a management project, uh, I, I really think that's the right way to go forward. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So, Adija, what's your question? Uh, part of my question has been hacked by Fish. I wanted to ask how, how the email would be shared and how we'll be responding to it. Another question is how, how uh, the documents will be submitting. How are we supposed to format it since we'll be sending the emails? Are we supposed to be copy the emails there, stuff like that? But as you said, it's a maze. Um, mm -hmm. It's more like a game. So I guess we'll have to wait till the end. Yeah. But you don't have to worry. There is no like an actual like email Gmail interface where you're actually like sending out these emails to people. It's pretty much just the template. The emails have been prepared. All you have to do is just respond to these emails to them. Give, yeah, okay. then categorize them. I think I feel like I already split it all. So like my yeah. mouth has well. casted myself already. <laughs> but I'm pretty much so we don't get confused. But the real job all is right. to see what you can do within that period of time and see how much you can prioritize okay. these emails. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, I'm still worried we're we not sharing our updates. So I think only like five people have shared something so far. So what's happening, guys? Mohamed? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
So um, I want to ask one question about um, the deliverables of uh, this week. The first Sorry? Uh, deliverable. The first de deliverable of this week. Okay. So uh, my question is, uh, the the first, let me read it. Uh, the interim uh, report must be said that we have to answer all the questions uh, that uh, included in the subtask 1.1. There is no subtask 1.1. Uh, there is task one and a couple of points proceed uh, that task. So uh, we have to address all the points that that what I, what I understood. So um, in in addressing those points, do we have do we need to to read all the the listed uh, materials, or we just go with three or four of the materials and have a general information or, or a basic information about the topic or about the point and to address that with our initial thoughts. Okay, I, th I think that's a technical challenge, if I'm correct. Um, I don't know if there's a text to throw on the call. I'm not sure there is. So what you can do is just ask that question on your own week four and tag who you think would be able to answer that. Okay. Is that okay? Thank you. Yeah. And just tag an Anastasia oh. or Indeed Nados Azaria. Yeah. But I think you can even do that right away so you don't forget. Okay, I'll do. All right. So. Empty Nam, I've not heard your voice today. Gennett, Jim Rose. Tamar, Tegisti. Gennett, yeah? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, the yesterday's uh, challenge was a little bit difficult for me. That is NLP, and I don't know about NLP any thing. And I I was trying to understand uh, everything which was listed on the uh, challenge uh, documents. I was read uh, and I try to understand. And uh, again, I was also confused with the career exercises. And I was. Uh, I think I am the only person who asked you how to submit the three page within one hour, and uh, you responded to me yes. Uh, and uh, how uh, the three the three page document is is it a an email or a list of email or is there anything which we are going to add on it? That is my question on the career document. Thank you. Okay, so back to the first thing you mentioned. You said you didn't understand the NLP, right? What have you done yes. about that? Yes, I, I'll try to read on the, the what is the material which is provided on the documents. Uh, there is a lot of materials, and uh, I will try to communicate with my some of the group within the the academy, and we are. Uh, construct a group and uh, we had uh, on the afternoon we have a meeting we had we already uh, set to have a meeting and uh, I hope I'll try to understand some of the concepts uh, and uh, I, I, I hope it will be okay okay so who is your peer mentor Menti? what who is your peer mentor group who, who is your peer mentor? Okay. The mentor of uh, the group? No, um, the person you did the peer mentoring tax with. Can you remember? We, of course you should. <laughs> yes, yes. We have uh, the group. Uh, we construct uh, some uh, with... Uh, I have a peer mentor, but... Uh, the other we are in week two we have uh, we had a group 
uh, within that group, we will try to add some of the people, and they will try to. Uh, Basically, what I was saying is, you should reach out. You can also find you're reaching out to your group. I'm saying just to have that one on one chat. You can reach out to your peer mentor, mentee, and okay. see if they understand it. And um, so you're not lost. But it's nice that you're already um, trying to make an approach to us that so you're not alone. So, in terms of the careers excel, like you've asked, yeah, it's almost like a list of emails. So, I think that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> then you just like, um okay. respond to them so like i said earlier just make sure you have the tutorial because being at tutorial you'll be able to get a full um grasp of what you're expected to do and what you're not supposed to do and remember because the tutorial itself is just for 30 minutes it's a brief um explanation of what you're supposed to do then the next one hour is dedicated for um the exercise and you're submitting at the one hour mark so if you need to save if you need to probably save um battery or save some juice on your devices so you don't like miss out and then you don't turn in your submission leads yeah okay 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 thank you thank you so much you're welcome mt none okay yes hello hi Good morning morning hi um so uh i had question quest questions about the career exercise but uh, it has been answered um my update about uh, what i had been doing yesterday is that um, i was reading about lm um, i focused on cohere actually um uh, i read about it and uh, i made an account to use it and also i extracted uh, an api key i was going <laughs> this morning actually uh, i was going through a notebook they have um uh on their github um repository for for using uh the cohere um uh, i mean i was reading about the prompt engineering i was going through this notebook that uh, uh will um we can use where you can use uh, cohere for for different uh, tasks um yeah so <laughs> this is what i was doing so far um I think I made a little progress, but um, I still have a lot to read and go through. But uh, so far, uh, I learned um, interesting things. So, so that's all. All right, nice. Thanks for sharing. So before I move to the next person, um, I wanted to say, which was what I was supposed to say earlier, anyone that can offer to help Gennett in terms of the NLP um, explanation, please do not hesitate to reach out to her and just let her know that you're up to help her out. Um, I'm the work, let's see it. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry for getting me back. I forgot to, uh, in the first, I speak. Uh, my question is, can I ask first? Sure, you can. <laughs> you can. Okay. Ask. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, uh, we are expected. To... I can't hear you. Is it just me, or I can? Um, can anyone hear him? We 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 also lost it. Okay. Maybe it's its connection. It will probably come back. But let's move to you, Fisia. Okay, so uh, it's just a basic uh, minor modification. I think for people who uh, didn't join this uh, stand-up, maybe they you. I, I saw something uh, that's not. I see the carriers tutorial time management exercise is going to last for an hour and thirty. Minutes. It's going to last thirty minutes. So maybe. People uh, looking at that might be confused. So I think that's, I think there's an error there or maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. Is it going to last an hour and a half or an half hour? Okay. The exercise. That's another good question. <laughs> so the total time for the tutorial and the solving of the exercise is one hour, 30 minutes, which equates to 
30 minutes for the tutorial and the one hour for you to go and solve this exercise, then submit. Does that make sense? Thank you. So that's why it's 10 15 it to 11 45. So you're spending the first okay. so so basically 10 um 15 to 10 45 you're going to be on the gym meet tackling it with your tutors then from 10 45 to 11 45 you will be left alone the tutorial will be dismissed you'll be left alone to go and solve this exercise and submit by that 11 45. So obviously there might be a grace of plus or minus five to 10 minutes, but that's basically what's going to happen. So the entire time on the schedule is um, cumulative of the tutorial and the time for you to go and solve this exercise. So I'm the work is back. So let's see what he has to say now. Are you there, I'm the work? Uh, hello? Sorry, I, I lost you. Yes, we lost you too. <laughs> yeah. um, I think we are expected to classify all emails that we have uh, received within one hour, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I hope that uh, we have to use something uh, uh, intelligent model, uh, either machine learning model or any open source tools that help us to class by those emails. So are we supposed to, to to use such tools or we have to do that manually? No, no external force or no external resources is required. If it was no, necessary, it will have been stated in the main exercise. All you're supposed to do is just like a real life, um, what's it called? A real life occurrence, a real life experience where, oh, your CEO is not around. Your CEO is like, oh, I, can you um reply to my emails before i get back you have one hour i have a meeting or you have a meeting next so that's what you're supposed to do okay uh, mm -hmm. thank you i can see that's what you're thinking so that's nice mm -hmm. so uh, i think we have three more um people after that then we can have the outside so empty now empty now sorry uh yes uh, i have a question actually mm -hmm. about uh what we are supposed to do in the challenge i want to to know the um i don't know i know what we are supposed to do in general that like we are supposed to write this code that will use one of the llm or one of the llms to to do a particular task but this code will be able to do it um, use it in a in a more um, in a in a better way or right so uh, we have to do some fine tuning or something but what do you, what do we call this? What do you call what we are going to write exactly? Um, so I take it that's another technical challenge, right? Yes, so a technical challenge. Yes. Just like what I said to Mohammed, make your question available. Okay, I can. Okay, answer. yes. Yeah. I thought maybe someone here can ask, answer me. I that's thought too, so, but I think I checked. I said if someone is here, but I doubt okay. if because I already went through the list. Okay, I okay. I'll ask uh, Slack. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Alexander. Uh, yes, I just have a quick a quick question. Uh, yesterday's uh, tutorial, I haven't able to attend fully. Uh, so, as it's been uploaded to YouTube, uh, that's what I want to ask. Okay, let's ask Abdullah. Uh, believe on the call uh, is the video available on YouTube. Why I mean do you check or you can just ask to on the Slack channel? Okay, so I've asked about the videos, please. Okay, I think it's answering you. Sorry. Okay. Videos. Alexander is asking which of the videos. The the they want to swirl to LLM and text based image generation and ML models. Yeah, it's already on YouTube. It's already on YouTube. I posted it yesterday night. Okay, thank you. I'll check it out. So two people already answered saying it's available. So I think what you can do is always like check. But there's nothing wrong in accent. So so we're going to take Mohammed. I don't know if Emilian is on the call, so he can host the outset. So Mohammed, what's your question? 
no, um, it's a, it's more like a discussion. Okay. Um, uh, yesterday I saw that Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg, specific, have have turned iTorch in independent foundation. Um, uh, with respect uh, to be under the Linux Foundation umbrella. So uh, I want to know what's the opinion of other people, of other teammates here about this move uh, in the future. Okay, how about you? How about you ask that on the random channel? And then people can discuss. Yes, yes, I would do that. Okay, Thank you. great. Fisera. Yes, I don't know if this is going to help, but to maybe some other people might also uh, be able to tell us more about this. But to answer Antinan's question, I think that the main thing that we are supposed to do is build. Uh, a, a source code to ask an API. It might be Cohere or any other large uh, language models APIs in order to extract name and their relationship from the job descriptions that we are provided. So the the main thing here, I think, is to uh, to extract these named entities using the uh, the data sets we were given the two data sets. So we are going to make this, the, the, the twist here, I think, is we, are, we have to make this robust in order for people to, uh, I, I don't know what, how to use the right word, but in order for the large language models to give us a uh, variety of answers, we need to make our code kind of robust using the, the, the development and training data set. I don't know if that makes sense, or I hope other people also might be able to uh, tell us more about this because it will really help us uh, in the right direction. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, I think M M Tina wants to contribute or maybe as a response to the guide you have provided. Uh, yes, um, 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 I want to clarify that what I'm asking, I, yeah, thank you for, for uh, I was not thanking him for his, his answer, but uh, what I'm asking about is, is there is a name for what you are going to do? Like, uh, I can understand what he said, yes, I understand this, but is it, what do we call what we are going to write? That what, um, I mean, this source code that we are going to write, does it have a name? <laughs> does it, like, is it like some kind of a uh, model or something? Yeah, I don't think it's uh, it's we can I don't think we can call it data engineering or machine learning engineering. I think yeah. we can basically yeah in context learning, that's uh, really yeah. good. But I think it's an engineering type of task. We kind of uh, use what we have and we use the data we have and engineer yeah. some uh, yeah. I don't know source code to get the answer from a large language model i'm not really sure yeah yeah i was just asking if there is some terms because i'm i don't know the terms of of this of the field generally so i was asking if there is a particular term for this yeah. but okay thank I hope, you i hope i hope we'll figure it out in this week <laughs> yes. yeah thank you bye Okay, but um, I will still work on that. You go ahead and make that chat question on the channel. But thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, Alexander, we're going to take you then. Gideon, are you on the call so we can start the odd set thing? I think Hello. Margaret also you is on. Yes, Gideon, we can hear you. Okay, our guy is here, Emilian, so I'm going to just pass the mic to him all right thank you very much uh, Miriam hello everyone uh